Welcome to part three of this micro course, Getting Cozy with a Pixel Brush Studio. Part three is the Texture tab. To demonstrate, I'm just going to create a new round brush. And then once I've got my settings, the general, and I'm just going to leave the dynamics kind of flat, I'll open the Texture tab. And I'm going to click the Set Texture button and choose a texture that I've already saved. Once you've imported the texture, it'll show up in the thumbnail, but it won't show in the brush preview until you've chosen from the mode, either the nozzle or final settings. Selecting the invert option will give you a photo negative of the texture. Scaling the brush will increase or decrease the size of the texture and cause it to repeat. And you can actually create a whole range of brushes from the, from the same texture just by using the duplicate button and then tweaking the scaling to different settings. It's important to keep in mind that a texture is a masked object. And so by recoloring your brush and painting over the brush you've already revealed, We'll just recolor the pixels and won't actually create a new texture unless you rescale the brush. If you've created a new texture intensity brush, you can use the brush nozzle setting in the textures tab. If you've created a round brush, this feature will not be available to you. But once you've created a textured intensity brush, you can actually add in additional nozzles. Brush nozzles are tied together with the general tab and, and dynamics tab. But once you've got that set up, you can go and add additional nozzles on top of the original. And you can see that now that second brush nozzle is showing up on top and adding a layered effect to make a more complex brush. As with the dynamics tab, the drop down menu and uh, profile options allow you to blend how the two or more uh, nozzles interact with each other. In this second example, I have added a texture of a handwriting sample from an old journal. Here's the inverted version and the uninverted version. And because there's some grayscale in this scan, it's going to create levels of opacity. And by adjusting the profile option here, I can change how those two brush nozzles are interacting to reveal the underlying texture. Here I'll switch from no blending to a cycled version that's going to alternate between the uh, two brush nozzles. That's it for the texture tab. Next time we're going to look at the sub brushes tab, the fourth and final episode in this micro course. Hope you learned something. If you did, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. We'll see you next time.